Hey guys, me again. Uh, just kind of taking a few days off, driving around the country, and uh, I'm here in that loan at the moment. And the one thing I've noticed, just like how Gemma drives around, that there is a high concentration of multicultures here so to speak like you have your different religions like you, you have muslims you black people eastern european and you don't um you know you don't see this animosity and, and this fear that jama is talking about and there's probably a reason for that is because she leaves her part of the country, drives around to these places with high density populations of um, other nationalities, other religions, and she comes in and just stirs up, uh, stirs problems, stirs shit in an area. And leaves. No, that's not the way uh, you really want to be doing things. Uh, there's enough stupid people in this country that you can instill all this fear in, and this is a reason that she needs to be shut down completely. You know, I mean, I see people going about their day-to-day -day lives here. It doesn't matter if they're white, black, whatever they are. And no problems. Same where I'm from. No problems. But the very minute Gemma steps foot in a town, it's like she brings these um, social phobias. Social ph she just brings all this shit with her. Stirs up shit goes again job done uh, th this is not how a lot of people want things to work in this country uh, it's not how I want things to work in this country uh, I've noticed lately that through hunting down information and the like that she's talked with Alex Jones quite a bit now Alex Jones is a fear peddler, conspiracy theorist, and just a manipulator. Um, just even with the the stuff that he sells on his site, so it's the exact same things everybody else does, but they're not the same, according to him. Uh, I can see why. Gemma would want to talk to him because as of lately I've heard that um, she has been trying to accept donations for people to help her or for her to help people sorry now I'm presuming these people are uh, mothers who are fighting Tusla and the like and she thinks because of her popularity that uh, she can bring light to their plight, so to speak. Now, I can tell you this. Anyone who goes near her looking for publicity, looking for help, any issues they have with anyone, they're going to die in their arse. They will be like a comedian going on stage and no one laughing at him. He will die on his arse. And that is exactly what is going to happen with uh with, with you and your problem if you get Gemma O'Doherty to add public light to it. So she's gonna accept all these donations kinda of like um Alex did and Alex would go on Info Wars and he would he would tell you he didn't know if he was going to have a house this week because it was going to have to go uh, to pay the people working 
on the YouTube videos, this, that, the other, all this, while at one point wearing two Rolex watches and telling the people he needed these to blend in with the people who the stories were about. Now, I know American people, and I've seen his Patreon, I know American people are fucking stupid at the best of times. But I know Irish people are not that stupid. To an extent. Now, I also know that Gemma has appeared on a lot of uh, conspiracy theorist channels in the US, where, of course, 90% of her support comes from. So that's where 90% of her financial funding is going to come from in when she decides she's going to run in the general election, which she is because she's, excuse me, she's openly said it. And then you have the other 10%, which is going to probably be European. Uh, whatever she gets from the Irish public would be very little. Shouldn't have said little like that, should I? Look what she's done to little. Oh well. Um, what she'll get from the Irish public will be very little. But she'll get some nonetheless. But most of her funding will probably come from the US. Uh, basically the way Alex Jones was doing it. By fear-mongering and peddling snake oil so to speak um, so yeah th this is all um, it's, it's, it's going to be a weird one I would hope nobody nobody would hand her money in any way shape or form through a Patreon account or anything else uh, it's bad enough that there's word going around that she's working for the Gardaí because of the Barrow Street incident and I mean I'd believe that too I mean how do you give that amount of abuse to a guard in a van and walk away from it and he doesn't even bother looking at you I would believe the guy she was giving the abuse to in the van was her handler and that video was a complete setup to minimise Garda involvement with her. I mean, of all the times not to show up on Barrow Street in the middle of that incident, she was put there to drag those people out so the Garda could get a good look at them to update their um, to update their records. She got them out, that's why she wasn't there, but yet she went on about her business the following day or the day after uh, outside Google offices running up and down the road uh, recording Google security and all this saying they were the new face of Google this is why uh, it is best not to give Gemma any money because I can guarantee you any money you give her the Guardian will be looking into you as to who you are, what you are and where you work because that is what they are, or that's what they're going to be doing. They are going to be watching anyone who interacts with her like a hawk. And people in this country are too stupid to believe it, that she is nothing but a tout. Working for the Gardaí, and now she's financially fleecing people on the side. And people are still going to be stupid enough to give her money. People, you need to watch this woman very closely you need to watch who's giving her money you need to watch who's supporting her because i can guarantee you come the general election things are going to go from bad to worse with her do not let her talk in your town if you see her in her town follow her around like she follows everyone else around with their cameras you know we know exactly what she does when she's harassed and asked for the truth and when she's questioned she threatens legal action she will turn up to your place of work to get you fired and get her little minions to talk shit or verbally attack you or uh, do whatever it is online there's a reason they're called gemorrhoids 
And that's because they're like hemorrhoids, which are just a pain in the fucking hole. People, watch this woman like a fucking hawk. Because she is a detriment to society. She is working for the Gardaí. And she is out there to instill hatred. Stop certain people from getting... Uh, f stop certain people working against Tusla and the f and all this. She is out there to derail anything political that's going on at the moment, or to detract from anything political going on at the moment. And as a side, she's out there to basically instill hatred. And do not under any circumstances give this woman your money you will be caught you will be watched like a hawk and don't think you won't be uh, and that's just from what I've uncovered recently so there's a good chance I will be uploading another video to do with this I think this is part one so anyway this is me over and out. Drop your comments, drop your insults, drop your debates, whatever. I'll get back to you as soon as I see fit or whatever. It's me over and out. Thanks, guys.